Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and today I'm showing you how to make broccoli cheese soup. This creamy, cheesy soup used to always be my favorite to get at Panera Bread. But if you look at the ingredient list, there's a lot of unnecessary stuff in there. That ingredient list is way too long for me and I wanted to create a healthier version. It doesn't require a flour roux, it doesn't require any extra preservatives, and it uses super simple whole food ingredients. And guys, this broccoli cheese soup recipe is as simple as it gets. You only need five ingredients, we don't need any flour, and it takes only 20 minutes. This soup happens to be naturally low carb, but you don't have to be low carb to enjoy it. It's perfect for anyone that wants something super simple, something healthy. Even my two little girls, they're four and six, even they love this soup. And I think your family will too. I'm ready to make broccoli cheese soup. Let's do this. Start, mince four large cloves of garlic. Cut off the root end first and then use the flat side of your knife to kind of bang on the clove just like this and the skin will come right off. This is super easy. I also think it's kind of fun. If there's something you're mad about, think about that. And once you have all the cloves peeled, you can slice them very thinly, just like this. After you have the thinly sliced garlic, you can go ahead and use a rocking motion using your second hand for levers, just like this to mince the garlic super fine. Now, if you like, you can also use pre-minced garlic from a jar to save time, but I love the flavor of freshly minced garlic. Set that aside, and now we're going to cut our broccoli. Remove any outer leaves first, and then cut off the stem. Now, place your head of broccoli upside down and cut along the edge, rotating as you go, to cut the florets. You'll notice they're pretty large at this point. That's totally fine. I'll show you how to make those smaller in a second. This is my favorite way to cut broccoli, super easy and efficient. So now you can take these larger pieces and just cut them vertically in half or into quarters, just like this. We don't want the pieces too large for broccoli cheese soup because that can cause clumping later and you don't want a huge piece in a single bite. Set the broccoli aside and it's time to get cooking. I like to use a Dutch oven to make my broccoli cheese soup because it heats so evenly Plus, it goes from stovetop to table so beautifully. So you're gonna heat that over medium heat and saute the garlic in there. I add a little bit of olive oil, you can use butter or any fat you like, but go ahead and add the garlic and you're gonna saute that for just about a minute or two until it's nice and fragrant. Now add three and a half cups of chicken broth. If you like, you can use vegetable broth, but that does increase the carb count a bit if you're looking for a keto broccoli cheese soup or bone broth works as well, but has a stronger flavor. And we're adding one cup of heavy cream. In general, heating dairy to a too high temperature is not a good idea for something like regular dairy milk, but cream does not tend to curdle as much, so it's perfectly fine to simmer it. And go ahead and add your broccoli florets. Add them slowly so that you don't get too much splatter and watch for any stray leaves that got in there. Go ahead and stir this together to make sure that the broccoli is mostly submerged in the soup and then you're going to bring this to a simmer. It's going to get foamy just like this. This is totally normal. And you're going to simmer for about 10 to 20 minutes. Reduce the heat once you get to that initial boiling point and just check with a fork that your broccoli is nice and tender. Now, the simmering was the first step to thickening our soup, but it's not thick yet. Reducing it just helps set us up for what's next. I'm going to remove about one third of the broccoli pieces and set those aside. This step is optional if you want some pieces in your broccoli cheese soup at the end. If you want all of the soup pureed, you can leave all of those in. But either way, now I'm going to use an immersion blender to blend the soup until it's nice and smooth. Make sure your blender is fully submerged in the liquid, otherwise you're gonna get splatter all over the place. Pureeing the soup is our second trick for thickening without flour. If you don't like that texture, you could also just simmer the soup for longer to reduce it more. And our final trick, the most important, is the cheese. We're going to add three cups of shredded cheddar cheese, but add those gradually and stir constantly because that is the trick to getting it to melt easily. That's also the reason that we removed the broccoli florets. Even if you don't want to puree your broccoli, you'll want to remove the florets before you add the cheese because this is going to ensure that the cheese doesn't stick to the broccoli and melt smoothly. Now to get this nice and smooth, we're going to use the immersion blender again. 
If you don't have an immersion blender, you can also do these blending steps in a regular high power blender instead. Once your broccoli tea soup is thickened to your liking, go ahead and add the florets back. Now, if you add these back in and realize, eh, it's not as thick as you want it, no problem. You can simply add more teas and thicken it right up. Make sure that your soup is not simmering when you do this, and this applies when you're adding the cheese earlier as well. And if it's still not as thick as you want, there are some other thickeners you can use. You can either whisk a quarter to a half teaspoon of xanthan gum with a little liquid to make a slurry and stir that into the soup, or you can toss the cheese with a little cornstarch before adding it to the soup. I don't find these thickeners necessary, but it's totally up to you. And finally, taste your soup at the end. Make sure it doesn't need any extra salt or pepper. I usually add a little bit of each at the end. Okay, my broccoli cheese soup is ready. Look at how nice and creamy this turned out. Who needs those additional thickeners, right? It's cold here today, so let's make up a bowl of this. I am so ready. And the serving of this is about a cup, but when I have this for a meal, I usually double that. So to finish this off, I'm gonna add some fresh cracked black pepper here. And I like a little sprinkle of cheddar on top as well. Let's try this. That was amazing. Creamy and cheesy and warm. Try this, you guys. Tell me what you think. I really want to know what you think of this soup. And don't forget to snap a photo, post it with hashtag Wholesome Yum so that I can see it too. See you next time on Wholesome Yum, where I share easy, healthy, and keto recipes, all with 10 ingredients or less.